How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you all are doing well. This is only my second video on the channel, so if you guys enjoy, please consider liking and subscribing. It helps out a lot. Thank you. So I'm going to jump straight into it. I'm going to make it as straightforward as possible, but I'm not going to skip over anything. So the reason why you're watching this video is probably because you're planning on building a motorized bike, or maybe you even have one and you want to build another. So I'm going to tell you the difference between two-stroke motorized bike engines and the four-stroke motorized bike engines. Most of you probably already know, but for the people who don't know, I'm going to explain how a two-stroke engine works and how a four-stroke engine works. A two-stroke engine completes a power cycle in only two strokes, hence the name of two-stroke. Two strokes fire every revolution, which makes them more powerful, but also at the same time makes them less fuel efficient, which means you're going to get less riding time out of a two-stroke bike engine, but it's more powerful for the size. With two strokes, you have to mix your own oil into the gas, or you can buy like a 50 to 1 or a 40 to 1 um, mixture for these. But that's why they complete a power cycle in only two strokes is because the oil is already in the gas. Four stroke engines complete a power cycle in four strokes because it has separate strokes for intake, compression, exhaust, and power. Two strokes will rev higher. Four strokes will generally rev lower. But due to that, the two stroke engines will wear out faster because they're revving at higher RPMs for longer amounts of time and because of more frequent combustion cycles. The four strokes do last longer due to better lubrication. They are much more reliable. With the two strokes, the way the clutch works is you pedal and then you let the clutch off and you drop it and it starts the bike. With the four strokes, they have a pull start. The two-stroke bike engines are cheaper because they require more customization. I recommend if you are a beginner to start with a four-stroke bike engine, learn a little bit about it because the two-strokes do require um, a lot more work, definitely, a little bit more customization. But the two-strokes, you can customize it much more than you can with a four-stroke. With a four At the end of the day, it just comes down to what you like. If you would rather cheaper, more power, less reliable, then go for the two-stroke. But if you would rather more reliability, a little bit more comfort, um, less maintenance. So I wouldn't say less maintenance because you still have to change the oil. I would say the two strokes and the four strokes do require about the same amount of maintenance. But yeah, it just comes down to what you'd like. I hope you guys enjoyed this short informational video. Please leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Um, a lot more videos coming soon. I have my bike to show off. We have much more bikes coming soon. So hope you guys enjoy. See ya.